Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin Perry from Skyshot Outdoors, and today I'm going to be showing you how to scout for some public land geese. This is only my second year duck hunting uh, or goose hunting, so um, I've kind of picked up on a little bit of tips and tricks, but not anything too crazy or knowledgeable that you probably haven't already heard before. But nonetheless, um, I live in Georgia and it's really hard to scout for ducks. Uh, we just don't get much down here, honestly. So that being said, um, I will show y'all what I would do, what I can find, and we will see what happens. I've got my boat today, so hopefully we can find a spot, get out there, because we are two weeks or less than two weeks away from early goose season. It opens on September 5th, and then a week later, well, right over a week later, uh, it should be early teal season opening as well and also we have bow season so um, thanks for sticking around guys if you would like to just hit that like and subscribe button I'm trying to get some content going out now and hopefully we can build this channel build the community and have some uh, duck hunters from Georgia What's up guys, so I just put in the boat and I've already seen probably 20, maybe 25 ducks. So I think they're all teal. I couldn't really tell exactly what they were, but um, this looks like a really good spot. There's a refuge right over there in that direction. I'm gonna head this way and see if we can find some areas where some geese will be got. Here I am with problem number one. No plug. All right guys, what's up? So I came in out here in hopes of finding some geese. I did not find a single goose, but um, there's some really, really good habitat out here. I'll flip around and kind of show you. It just looks really, really good for ducks. There's a lot of cover, a lot of places to set up, and it is pretty shallow in some areas. I kind of had some trouble getting into some areas, but this surface drive kit has been doing so, other than that, I don't really know if this will be a good spot for geese, um, but I'll tell you a little bit about what I look for when I'm trying to scout for geese. So, you're obviously trying to find, you know, the feeding areas if you can. If you can't find any feeding areas, you're looking for loafing areas. And all in all, when you're scouting for geese, you know, it depends on where you're at. If there's a lot of private land around, then, you know, I mean, they could be out in the fields, they could be just on someone's land in their backyard in a grassy area, especially after it rains because I guess maybe grubs come up, whatever. I don't know what they exactly feed on, but I've been trying to find some areas that have some like seed pods in it. Um, I don't know exactly the vegetation that we have in Georgia, but all in all, it is pretty hard to find geese in Georgia, but if you're on public land and you can find some mud flats, those are really good just because when you're on a mud flat, if it's shallow enough, they'll stand on the mud flats, you know, if there's some ground nearby, they can sit there, rest, whatever, um, get away from, you know, population or the crowds or whatever, especially when there's hunting pressure. But um, I think they feed on a myriad of different things on the mudflats.
and I think that's just because really if there's if it's a high water if it's a lake they can't really get down to what they're trying to feed on so essentially <clears throat> there has to be some shallow water if you can find a mud flat that's gonna be great because you're probably gonna be able to set up pretty close by one thing I will say is go out there and scout because if you're not out there scouting you're not gonna show up on opening day or whenever it is and find geese it's just not gonna happen I mean you might get lucky if you're going into a right spot if you're e-scouting a little bit I use Onyx and Onyx is great because it shows you a good representation of what the water looks like what the area looks like if there's gonna be cover or not and if you're gonna be able to set up and hide it's kinda of hard to tell how deep the water is when you're out here or before you're out here but if you're not scouting you're probably gonna skimp yourself and not get as many opportunities as you should more people or new people that you're hunting with creates more opportunities and especially getting out to some place that you've never been at if you can find somebody that goes there regularly and go and hunt with them then they'll show you a spot and you return the favor by showing them a spot and just a little bit about the channel um, I've definitely been trying to find some more people to hunt with. I have a core group of guys, um, two buddies in particular that I hunt with, and it's great and it's awesome, but, well, I only have a boat currently. Um, my other buddy has a boat, but does not have a motor for it. This is a 1648, so I can effectively take out two people and it'd be pretty comfortable. Um, three people might be a little bit too much weight, um, I'm not sure. If I'm over the weight capacity, I could maybe get in trouble. I did have a buddy get a ticket, so you gotta be careful out there with the DNR. You never know what's gonna happen, and you never know who's gonna show up. And the last thing you want on an opening day of goose season is to get a ticket. Well, all in all, that was a pretty good scouting trip. Uh, a goose scouting trip turned into a duck scouting trip because I did not see a single goose, but I saw probably about 55 ducks and it looks like a great area. I've hunted this before, but I did not have a boat last year and everything I did was all walk-in. And this year it's going to be so much better since I have a boat now. Um, I could access so many more spots than I could have ever imagined when I was walking in last year. So I think we're really gonna smack them this year and I'm looking so, so forward to duck season. Um, this is being only my second year, I never ever expected to like duck hunting as much as I do. So I'm excited and I'm sure everyone else is too. If you're a duck hunter, if you're seeing all these videos, man, I know it gets you pumped. I know it gets me pumped. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.